G'day everybody and welcome back. So what I'm going to take you guys through now is the CardioLine Touch ECG installation phase. So first off, we're going to disable the internal Bluetooth within our computer or laptop. We're then going to plug the StarTech dongle into any available USB port um, and that's going to act as our internal laptop with uh, internal Bluetooth within our laptop or computer. After that, we're going to pair the Touch ECG to that new Bluetooth connection. From there, we're going to download the Touch ECG software. We're going to pair the device to the new software, which is found on the orange USB stick. And then finally, we're going to conduct a quick ECG. Okay, so first off, can I get everybody to type device into your search bar down the bottom and open up the device manager? You'll notice a whole bunch of icons are going to pop up. But obviously, the one that we're looking for is this one here, Bluetooth. So I'm going to click on the little arrow and you may notice more or less on your device. And again, this may take trial and error, but I know my internal Bluetooth is this one here, the Marvel Avastar Bluetooth radio adapter. So I'm going to disable that. I'm not going to completely get rid of it. I'm just going to disable it. By disabling this, I can now override this with the StarTech dongle. So we'll close that. And can I get everybody now to take out their StarTech Bluetooth dongle and plug that into any available USB port? Once you're done, we're going to go back down to the search bar and we're going to type Bluetooth. We're going to now open up our Bluetooth settings. And straight away, you'll notice that your Bluetooth is on because the dongle that we've now plugged in is acting as our internal Bluetooth connection. Okay. So if everybody could now grab your CardioLine Touch ECG, make sure you've installed it, you've got the batteries in and everything's ready to go. On the front, you'll notice two things. You'll notice the on button, which is the orange button. Um, that's just an on button. It doesn't serve as an off button. The device will turn itself off after a couple of minutes. But basically, we're going to press that in just a little bit. If you've done so already, it doesn't matter. Um, and you'll notice that when we do turn it on, there's going to be a flashing blue light, which is the device trying to pair to the software, but we're going to pair it to our computer first. So if everybody can hit this add button, and then we're going to go ahead and turn our Touch ECG device on, and you should hear a beep and notice the blue flashing light straight away. And we're going to click the Bluetooth button up the top. This process might take a little while. It might be instantaneous. Uh, be patient with it. But eventually, we're going to notice our CardioLine Touch ECG serial number, which is located on the back, pop up here as the device which we want to pair. Again, this may take a couple of times. If you cancel out of it and start again, it's no big issue. But my device is now here. If you're having trouble with this, um, make sure you've got your dongle plugged in if not maybe reset your cardio line touch ecg again by just taking the batteries out and putting it back in okay so once we've got our device paired we'll notice it's paired in our other devices down here and that's going to be a rock solid connection from now on if you pair your device to the dongle we're going to have no issues with bluetooth interference now okay so once we're done this, we're going to cancel out. And I want everybody to take out the orange USB stick that you received in the box. And we're going to plug that one into any available USB port. And this is the CardioLine Touch ECG software, which we're now going to download. So if you can double click on this, and you'll notice down the very bottom, we're going to double click on the Touch ECG, which is the insulation driver. How fast your computer is going to install this will be determined by your laptop's processor and how quickly it can download. But we're going to be nice and patient with this. This may take a couple of minutes. This may take your computer seconds. But as soon as this is finishing, finished downloading, the program is going to open up straight away. But just so you guys know, once you've finished downloading the software onto the device that you're using, you do know, you no longer need the dongle plugged into your computer. It doesn't serve as a licensed dongle. It's only used for downloading the software. Okay, so once that's done, like I said, the software is going to open up straight away. And we will notice that when it powers up, it's going to be in demo mode. 
So what we want to do is we want to now pair our device to the software. Just make sure your device is still on. If it's turned itself off at this point, turn it back on. So we'll notice up here, it says HD plus demo in the yellow, and we've got a demo ECG rhythm. So what we're gonna now do is we're gonna pair the device. So I want everybody to click up here in the top right hand corner, and we're gonna go to the settings tab. The first screen that opens up, the very first tab, you'll notice HD plus serial number. If we click the downward facing arrow here, you'll notice that the serial number on the back of your device should be the one that's now accessible. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this. Now, we haven't saved this yet to our computer. It's still in demo mode. So I'm going to now save that. You'll notice down here, settings save successfully. If yours hasn't done it, we can press this save button as many times as we want. And from here, I'll show you very quickly. I've got mine hooked up to a patient simulator, but we'll notice we don't have very many customizable buttons on the right hand side. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go back into the settings and we're gonna to go to the other tab. From here, we wanna see simple user interface and we're going to turn that off. And we're gonna save that. Once the settings have saved successfully, we're going to back out and we'll notice straight away that we have all of these buttons here available on the side. If I turn my patient simulator on, at the moment we've got a systole, but we're gonna now get a rhythm. And once the screen cleans itself up a little bit, as soon as this auto button is available, if I click auto, the Glasgow interpretation software, which comes as a standard with this device, is going to interpret my rhythm strip down here. And that's how easy it is to get a ECG with the CardioLine Touch. Um, the next video we're going to go through and we're going to look at the features, we're going to look at the settings, and we're going to customize our software to our customers' needs. Thanks very much.